Hello everyone, my name is Pooja Gangaram Dondal. I am a student of 3rd year B Pharmacy from Shivaji Ravis Dondal College of Pharmacy Asanga. Today, I am going to present a topic from the subject Industrial Pharmacy 1 that is Tablet Coating Materials under the guidance of Professor of Subject Mrs. Geeta Nitin Mohire Ma'am. So, let's begin. So, we will start the introduction first. First, we will see a definition of tablet coating materials. The coating materials are those materials which are used into the coating or applied on the surface of the tablet. It offers the good stability of product and can also strengthen the tablet core. Then we will see a tablet coating compositions are film formers in enteric or non-enteric materials, then solvents, plasticizers, colorants and miscellaneous etc. We will see a first part of a tablet coating composition is film formers in a non-enteric material. The first is a HPMC that is hydroxy propyl methyl cellulose. It is prepared by reacting alkali treated with cellulose with methyl chloride propylene oxides. When used alone it forms the bridging and rough tablet surface. It is cheap flexible, highly resistant to heat and moisture. They are having a no test and no order. The second one is a MHEC that is methyl hydroxyl ethyl cellulose. It is prepared by reacting alkali treated cellulose with methyl chloride and then with ethylene oxide. It has a similar properties as that of HPMC but it is soluble in a fewer organic solvents. So, it is not used as a frequently as a HPMC. Then third one is a EC that is ethyl cellulose. It is manufactured by the reaction of ethyl chloride with cellulose dissolved in a NaOH. It is water insoluble and thus cannot be used alone for a tablet coating. It is usually combined with the water soluble additives. For example, HPMC to prepare a film with reduced water soluble properties. Then fourth one is a HPC that is hydroxy propyl cellulose. It is manufactured by the treatment of cellulose with the NaOH followed by the reaction with polythene oxide at elevated temperature and pressure. It forms the tacky films using a combinations with the other polymers to improve the film characteristics. It is soluble in water below the 40 degree Celsius and insoluble in the water above the 45 degree Celsius. Then fifth one is a povidone. The povidone is a degree of a polymerization decides the molecular weight of material based on the viscosity available in a different grades. It is a synthetic polymer consisting of a linear 1-vinyl 2-pyrrolidone groups. It gives the clear, glossy, hard films when it is dry. It gives the tacky films which can be overcome by the plasticizers or the other polymers. Then sixth one is a SCMC that is sodium CMC. It is available in a medium. It is easily dispersed in a water to form the colloidal solution but it is insoluble in a most organic solvents and hence not a material for choice for a coating solution. It gives the tacky films. Then seventh one is a PEG that is polyethylene glycol. The polyethylene glycol it is also divided into two parts that is lower molecular weight PEG and high molecular weight PEG. The first one is a lower molecular weight PEG ranging from 200 to 600 are liquid at a room temperature and are used as a plasticizers. Then second one is a high molecular weight PEG ranging from 900 to 8000 are white, waxy and solid at a room temperature. Then second part of a film form was in a enteric materials. These are CA P, that is cellulose acetate pathalate. It is a hygroscopic and relatively permeable to moisture and a gastric fluids. It is composed of a solid or semi-solid polymers. Then second one is a acrylate polymers. The acrylate polymers are marketed under the trade name of Eudragit. Two forms of a commercially available in market. Eudragit L and Eudragit S. The Eudragit S is available only an organic solution and solid. The Eudragit L are copolymers of acrylic and with acrylic acid esters.
then third one is a hp mcp that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose pathylate it is derived from hpmc by the esterification with pathylic anhydride these are stable than cap and dissolve at a lower ph compared to cap and acrylate polymers the solubility characteristic may result in a higher bioavailability of a some specific drugs it is available in a various grades that is hp55 and hp50 etc then fourth one is a pvap that is polyvinyl acetate pathylate it is manufactured by the esterification of partially hydrolyzed polyvinyl alcohol with the pathylic anhydride it is similar to hpmcp that is hp55 in stability and ph dependent solubility then we will see a second part of a tablet coating composition that is solvents the solvents are dissolve or disperse the polymers and other additives and convey them to the substrate surface the ideal requirements of a solvents are it should either dissolve or disperse the polymer system it should have no environmental impact it should have a rapid drying rate it should easily disperse other coating solution components in the solvent system some examples of the solvents are water ethanol methanol isopropanol ketone chloroform acetone methylene chloride and methylene ethyl etc the third one part of a tablet coating composition are the plasticizers the plasticizers is used to modify the quality of the film the plasticizer techniques involve the internal plasticizers and external plasticizers the plasticizers are additive of the coating solution to achieve the desired effect of the film that is flexibility tensile strength and adhesive properties etc the examples of the plasticizers are castor oil glycol glycerin and surfactant etc the fourth part of a tablet coating composition are the colorants the colorants is a provide the distinct color and elegance to the tablet the most common colorants is used are certified by the food drugs and cosmetic colorants the colorants are also provide the distinct color it achieves the proper distribution of a sustained colorants in the coating solution requires used for the fine powdered colorants the examples of the colorants are iron oxide caramel carotenoids turmeric and carcinic acid etc the fifth one and last one point of the tablet coating composition is opaquent or the extenders the opaquants are the very fine inorganic powders used in the coating solution formulation to provide the more pastel colors and increase the film coverage for example titanium dioxide silicates like the talc aluminum silicates carbonates like the magnesium carbonates and sulfonates like the calcium sulfates the opaquants are provide the white coating or mask the color of the tablets here we cover the tablet coating materials or the tablet coating composition in this video thank you